It is another edition of Inside the Huddle presented by Westway Ford here on Fox Sports Net. We are at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. I am your host, Matt Barry. We appreciate everyone coming in. We taped this show on Monday, so it is the day after Christmas, which means that'll probably be a big theme in tonight's show. It runs on Sunday mornings, but there will be a lot of Christmas talk. This segment brought to you by CC Carpet, Albertsons, Under Armour, IPMS, and Social Meds. As always, I am joined by my co-host. He is the new number 81 of the Dallas Cowboys. I believe he still leads the Cowboys in touchdown receptions. Not bad for our co-host. Give it up for LaRon Robinson, our weekly co-host. We were having some fun with this before the show. LaRon shows up as a guest, what, about a month ago? Yeah. And then you get promoted to co-host. Hey, man, you know, just uh, having a good time on the show, you know, trying to entertain everybody and just rolling with it. That's it. Do you know how long I had to do TV before I got to get to a decent enough level and you roll in here and just get <laughs> promoted like that? Oh, what can I say? I'm lucky. I You're guess. a natural. <laughs> and remember, tonight we, we, we were coaching you up with your wife earlier. She was telling you to look at the camera. Yes, yeah, she was. And what did, what, were, what did you say was right? Uh, just keep looking at you and look at the crowd and say what's happening. That's why he got promoted. That's TV 101. Congratulations, Ron. If you're wondering who our guest is over here, this is Dr. Dan Bakta. He is a foot and ankle specialist and a surgeon from Microsurgery Institute. Put your hands together for Dr. Dan, we'll Thank call you. you. Thank you. Every guys. week we have an injury report here on the program uh, that Microsurgery Institute sponsors. So we appreciate you coming to make time. Well, with thank us. you for having me. I appreciate it. Now, you are a foot and ankle specialist. Yes. That is, that is your area of expertise, but we're going to go away from the foot and ankle for a minute. Not a problem. And we're going to ask you to lend your doctorate degree to the hand. Absolutely. That's and not a, a problem. No, foot is not that different from hand, but it is Well, there's five, of, there's five digits on each. Is that right? Absolutely. And they kind of look the same in well, a weird, twisted it depends kind of way. Who you ask. Yeah, that's a good point. If you've got, like, hammer toes, <laughs> that gets out of it. Anyways, I digress. The right hand. Yes, We're sir. talking about Tony Romo. Uh -huh. I had mentioned to you before the program, there's a big difference between an ankle sprain and an ankle break, Yes. just like there's a big difference between a hand break and a hand bruise or sprain. Sprain, obviously, you, you treat it differently. Obviously, it's, it's an injury regardless. But sprain, you want to treat it aggressively, obviously, with icing, rehab therapy, elevation, offloading, getting off of it right away. In this case, we're dealing with Romo's hand, mm -hmm. which is obviously his right arm, throwing arm, which is a big deal, obviously. Right. Now, let's say there is a little bit of swelling. I know a lot of people are talking about how the swelling needs to go down throughout the week. I saw during the game that they were trying to wrap the hand a little bit. Right. Let's say there is still a little bit of swelling going into Sunday's monster matchup against the Giants. How would, what would be a good way? Would they tape it? Would they put some sort of protection on the front? What would be the best way to protect, treat the hand to where he's still able to grip the ball, throw the ball, and be effective? You know, I think the... They're doing the right way, which is just let him rest, let this thing heal, mm -hmm. ice it, let the, and I'm sure he's, they're going to start doing some range of motion exercises to him and um, sort of some sort of electrical stimulations and other modalities they have. I personally think he should be fine. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, if, if that's what it is, I mean, we're not inside, obviously, we're just reading reports and finding out what other people are saying. I think he's going to be fine. If he's, you know, by Wednesday, if in practice, if he's throwing balls and spiraling and throwing to this big guy right here. <laughs> I think they're going to be fine. Any uh, information on how to get a hold of you guys at Microsurgery Institute for anything that anybody needs for uh, treatment? Oh, you can visit our websites and Microsurgery Institute inside. I mean, uh, uh, sorry, I have to edit this right here. Uh, <laughs> probably want to ask one of them, please, about the uh, contacting them. I don't have all that information on me right now. So. Okay, great. This is uh, Dr. Dan Botka from Microsurgery Institute. We appreciate your time, as always. A well, thank you for having me, guys. A specialist and a surgeon. Nonetheless, do you have any free medical advice you want to get right now a strep throat or anything like that even though he's a surgeon <laughs> no you're good yeah no we good we, ch we chatted up earlier oh bit. you good yeah, you got yeah. your yes. you got yeah. your treatment okay well appreciate we'll, we'll your time it. and we hope the hand uh prognosis that you just gave us proves to be true for tony romo i hope it's great i hope he throws for at least four touchdowns and a couple of them to this guy right here and this would be huge and hopefully they could win i believe they will win if they the defense steps up a little bit. I think we should be okay. Well, good thing we have two offensive guys here tonight. None of the defense there you go. Guys That's great. Hear that. And uh, speaking of that other offensive guy, our guest is coming up after the break. You don't want to miss one of the most prolific tweeters in the history of tweeting. We have that and more coming up next on Inside the Huddle, presented by Westway Ford, here on Fox Sports Net at House of Blues in downtown Dallas.